Welcome to the Panther Lair Show, Trib Live Radio. Chris Peak, publisher of PantherLair.com. With you this afternoon, as always, to talk pit sports. And there's, as always, plenty to get to when you talk about pit sports. Spring game coming up on Saturday, and we've got a lot of breakdowns to look at there. The teams were drafted on Wednesday, and so there's some interesting matchups, some interesting strategy that went into that. We'll talk about what to look for in the spring game, and we'll talk to Rob Harley, the linebackers coach at Pitt. But Big news this week uh, was not on the football side. It was on the basketball side. Deron Johnson, after sitting out a year, after being suspended a year, is now not returning to the program. And that's the first thing I think you mentioned is the specific wording there. He's not returning to the program. That's the way they said it in the press release. Deron Johnson not returning to the program following his suspension. And it's been said different ways. Deron Johnson's leaving Pitt. Deron Johnson is transferring all of that. Make no mistake about it. And I think it's the first thing to understand in this situation. Make no mistake about it. Uh, this was not a voluntary decision on Deron Johnson's part. Indirectly, there was a voluntary decision made by him to leave this team. But he never went in and said, Coach, I'm going to leave. I'm going to transfer. He's a fourth-year player. By all indications, he is on track to graduate, so he'll be able to transfer somewhere and play right away as a fifth-year grad transfer. You know how those things go. Or he could transfer down a level. You know, He can do whatever he wants with this fifth year of eligibility. But make that clear. He's not choosing to leave. He's been, for lack of a better word, dismissed. Kind of like Titus Howard, who on the football side, who missed last season due to a year-long suspension and then was dismissed uh, this this uh, offseason. So you've got that, that it's not a voluntary uh, departure on the part of Deron Johnson. But when you look at it and the effect that it's going to have on the team, Deron Johnson was a guy that we all talked about. Could have helped this team this season. Definitely would help the team next season. And there's been a lot of debate on Twitter and on the message boards, people saying uh, that those of us, and I include myself in this category, who said Deron Johnson would have helped this team and will would have helped the team next year, that we're making too much out of it. And I'm not saying he would be an MVP or the player of the year or anything like that, but I don't think there's any doubt that Deron Johnson would have been an asset for this team this year and would have been an asset for the team next year when he returns. No, there's not a lot in his career to support that. He didn't do a whole lot in his four years at Pitt. He played in 47 games over four seasons. He didn't even average 12 games a season. Averaged less than six points per game. Shot 41% from the floor, 36% from three. That's the key is that he liked to shoot three-pointers, and that's what he would have added to this team, some extra offense. We know they needed offense last year. He would have provided some extra boost. I don't know if he doesn't get them to the Final Four, but they'd probably make the NCAA tournament if they have Deron Johnson on the team. And if you add Johnson to the team that they have coming back next year with James Robinson, Jamel Artis, Mike Young, a developing Sheldon Jeter, the incoming Damon Wilson, you'd probably have a team that could score a whole bunch of points and make up for some likely defensive liabilities. But now they don't have that. And it's disappointing for him on a personal level. It's disappointing that the issues that he had that caused him to be suspended for a year, he couldn't put those aside and get past them, and now it's caused his dismissal from the team. It's disappointing for the team because I think they all expected to have him back. Jamie Dixon more or less coddled him through this last year to keep him close to the team so he wouldn't want to transfer, so he would stay engaged and want to return and have a good final season. And he would have helped the team. And the last thing I guess I would look at with this dismissal is I've been very strong in my support of Jamie Dixon. I don't think he's going anywhere. I don't think he should go anywhere. But you're in a unique place right now with Pitt Athletics, the new chancellor, new athletic director, as yet unhired athletic director. We don't know who that's going to be, but they're going to come in and they're going to look at Jamie Dixon and say, okay, well, in the last four or five years, you've missed the NCAA tournament twice. You've got... One recruiting class, the 2011 class that Johnson was a part of, that's completely gone. You, 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 not one of those guys finished their eligibility. You got the the class before that. You only had one guy, Cam Wright, finish his eligibility. So you, you've had some slumps there. The roster doesn't look as talented as it should be. Uh, again, you've missed a couple NCAA tournaments. You've got this guy getting suspended, and then he's dismissed from the team. If you're a new athletic director and you're coming in with fresh eyes and you're looking at it and you're saying, you know. I think you've done a good job here, and I think you're capable of doing a good job, but you're going to need to do a good job in 2015-16 and in 2016-17. And I don't think Deron Johnson getting dismissed from the team puts Jamie Dixon on the hot seat, but it's going to raise some eyebrows 
for Jamie Dixon's new boss. And I hate to say, but it's another kind of black mark on his resume. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. But that was the big news with the basketball team, minus a player they were probably counting on for next season. J.B. Dixon, again, is scrambling for answers.